So I've decided to give my little action cams a bit of a spruce up. I'm going to paint them with a little bit of a camouflage pattern. So what I've done at the moment, I've just taped up the lenses. So I thought I'd just do a quick little video on the results of the painting of the action cams. I bought some gloss from Bunnings and just gave them a couple of coats of clear coat and I think they turned out quite good. I mean the top of them on that one there is not the best but doesn't really matter. But as far as the front, I think they turned out okay. All three sides are done, I just didn't do the underside or the backside where the LCD panel is. But I'm pretty happy with that. Looks a lot better than just the plain black. So, just heading into the undisclosed location for a quick two night getaway. Hoping to have some sort of interactions with the Yowie maybe. Or even a Black Panther. And the aim of this trip is to also set up a mini trail cam the little ape man h40 so we're heading in it's just gone or well, it's just almost 3 p.m so i've still got another couple of kilometers to walk probably won't be there till after four but i like this little spot some of you might recognize it Forgive the shakiness on the camera, I haven't got the gimbal set up. Alright, so I'm off the beaten path now and I just found a couple of branches that are in a bit of an odd formation interwoven look at that one, right between those two branches and then that one there is sitting propped across it's only a little branch Yeah, the big one looks like it's been fire damaged and fallen over naturally. Well, then again, I'll let you viewers make your own decisions. I'm just capturing it and sharing it with you. And I'm not professing to say that every single tree break or fallen tree is a yowie. I know that nature has a lot to do with it in terms of wind, lightning, tree integrity, fire. But I'll just bring you what I see and you can make your own decisions. Alright, so it's 
almost five past four so it's probably maybe a little bit over an hour like I said I wasn't pushing it I wasn't going to push hard I was just going to take my time now I just got to find somewhere maybe up on that ridge line to set up the hammock and I've got a water source here but I just don't want to walk too far to have to get water so I'll see what I can find I mean there's another tree Okay, so this tree is just suspended through there, hanging. Yeah, it could have, could have fallen from one of them, I don't know. Can't see any breaks up there. But it must have been a nice strong northerly wind to blow it all that way. And just a little bit up this ridge line, that's where I was before. Just a little bit up this ridge line, I found a nice little pile of trees. Some of them are crisscrossed a little bit. Definitely looks like some sort of little formation. I've said my prayers and I've said my wishes to the Yowies to let them know that I'm not a threat. I'm just here doing what they do, enjoying nature. I have no hostility towards them. In fact, I come bearing gifts and a care package again. All right, let's find some water. There's another small, small tree break there heading up the mountain. I could just hear a couple of snaps off around to my right, behind me. So I just want to get up to the top of this ridge line and then just reassess. Try and find that water source. <laughs> and I've just found a couple of other little branches in a weird formation. Yeah, they've got burnt stumps there. But they're almost close to parallel. And then you've got that little one in there. Wedged in between. Then you've got these two here. Both running off to the right. And then one running up that way. Looks like it's going to be a nice clear night. Alright, this is tough going. I'm having to get through this stuff. Oh. Trying to stay above the ridge line. Whew. So I've just come from there. Don't know if the camera's going to pick up that, but... hoping to find a nice big puddle so I can maybe have a bath and obviously get some water for my dinners and breakfasts and lunch but yeah it's quite thick and overgrown up here ain't no walking trails in this neck of the woods oh, okay so I've come through a little mini creek bed which is dry <coughs> But that's pretty much just what I came through down through that little mark there you might be able to see my trail and I think I'm going to be spending the rest of this trip pulling out these little suckers
They're everywhere. Is the camera catching them? Yeah. And all over my pants. Ah, oh, it's fun and games. Well, there's a suspicious looking broken tree facing probably north, maybe slightly northwest. I think if people have been here they'll recognise this rock formation and that one up there and I've actually managed to find a trail and I can hear some water running down there so I don't know if this could be the upper portals it wasn't marked on the map anywhere but anyway I'll push on and head down this track see if I can find a nice little water source and somewhere to camp oh yeah there's some water right there sweet I'll let you know how I go. Well, I think this might be the upper portals. I haven't found a sign anywhere, but it just has that feeling about it. So that's what I just had to traverse down. Quite challenging with a backpack full of two nights worth of camping gear weighing almost 30 pounds. You really have to make sure you've got your three contact points happening. It's a nice little rocky trail with some good gradient. Anyone that's been here before will recognise this place, so if you have, leave me a comment, tell me where I am, aside from Mount Barney. <laughs> Alright, so let's find a little pool and somewhere to string up the hammock. I love going for mystery walks and finding locations like this yeah sure some lots of people would have been here and they probably know where it is how's the serenity now i just got to find a couple of trees where i can string up the hammock and then i'll go for a dip And I got my little lizard friend over there on the rock ready to greet me. He saw me pull up and he came over to say good day. It's just a little skink. G'day buddy. How you going? And a lovely red dragonfly. Where is it? There it is. Let's go and say good day to the skinky. <laughs> Where'd he go? I lost him. Thanks for the welcoming party. Right, I'm having a bit of difficulty finding some trees that are far enough apart. Maybe that one there. Well, that was fun to traverse. I didn't end up in the drink, which is good, but with a 30 pound backpack on your back, it's quite tricky. <laughs> Those rocks are spaced just a little bit far apart to be awkward but we got there in the end I want to make my way across to these trees over here so I can set up the hammock I think there might be some better looking ground there there's a yellow footed rock wallaby on the other side of the river there he's just in the bushes you might be able to see him I saw him before but I didn't have the camera out so I couldn't capture him but he's just it's hard to describe Hopefully, he's looking at me right now. I'll try and zoom in. Where is he? There he is. Come on, buddy. Start hopping again. Well, I'm thinking this is probably the best spot for the hammock. There is two other trees down there to my right, which I'll have a look at in a minute. But for now, I'm thinking this tree here. Sling the hammock across here. 
attach it to this tree and then I've got a little rock there for my possessions when I get in and out of the uh, hammock just got to make sure the zipper's facing the right way and then they're the views that I'll wake up to in the morning and go to sleep to I'm far enough away from the water noise so I can still hear some noise if a potential yowie wants to cruise down and check us out but this will be home for the next two nights yowies please give me a safe passage and I'm really looking to get looking forward to getting into that water where's Mr Wallaby All right, so it's just gone 10 past five. Still got a couple of hours of light left, so I should set up the sleeping quarters. So tonight for dinner, up on the mountain side, above the rock pools, we've got the little gas burner going, and we're going to be having a homemade dinner that I prepared earlier. It's tofu and lemongrass and noodles, so I'll give that one a go. Save a bit of money by making it yourself. So yeah, I'll just um, it's already pre-cooked, so what I'll do is just boil the water, sink this in there, let it sit for 5 or 10 minutes and warm up, and then just eat it straight out of the packet. So that should be quite nice. It's a lovely evening. The uh, stars are out, there's not much cloud cover. It should be a nice relaxing evening, evening hopefully. And it started to spit just very lightly, so I had to get the hammock and tarp set up. I'll probably have to show you that one in the morning. So I'm quite reluctant to have the light, the white light on out here, but I'm just going to give you a quick little tour of the campsite. So I've got my little camping chair there. The water's just boiled, and I'll pop my dinner in there in a minute. Obviously it'll look a lot better during the day. But I've got my big rock there that I'm going to use as a platform for getting into my hammock. got my bum bag there, or fanny pack for the Yankees. I've got my little knot light there. But it looks like my little friend's fallen off his perch. He was just sitting up there. But oh, there he is down there. Maybe he's having a little snooze. <laughs> I'll get him in a minute. I've got the Yowie care package there that I've just got to light up the light. Some clothes hanging up, got my bag hanging up, my shirt, so tomorrow I'm going to have to spend quite a bit of time pulling out all those little burrs. Got my coffee there, and my little action cam. I'll pack a lot of this stuff away before I go to bed, seal it all up. Got my tarp set up there, which should suffice. All right, the bugs are going crazy. I'm going to turn this light off. All righty. <clears throat> so now, so now we're going to do the little Yowie care package glow stick. Got a brand new one there. Got my little reflective aluminium circle with some tape to hold it and then in here I've got my trail mix I've got a couple of leftover bits of muesli bar I've got some crunch chocolate and also I've put in a Mars bar 
so it's going to be quite a bit of sugar for them if they do find it and eat it. Alright, let's do this. Party time! Do, do, do. that sleeve there we go so I didn't get time to set this up this afternoon because I was taking a swim and also getting the hammock set up but now I'll just go and hang that in a tree so I've got my little night light on only going to be brief because I don't want to put out too much light and then I managed to found, find my buddy there he is and I found a few little glow flies tonight been cruising around I've got fresh boxes on it's always good to sleep in fresh clothes Leave the cooker there overnight and the chair. Bags hanging up a little bit higher. I'll move the hammock up a bit higher. Okay, so that'll be okay for the night. Time to bed in for the night. Good night.